Tubes. So I came to Target to do a little quick toy hunt and I found something cool. I found the Marvel's Logan and the Marvel's Hawkeye. This is my first time seeing some of the new legends in, in store. This is actually a pretty good looking set and you can see Logan comes with the Baby Hulk. I'm not gonna pick this up only because I have the Mezco Old Man Logan, but uh, this is really cool to see some of the new stuff in stores. The artwork on the back is really, really nice. Look at that. They did a great job on this. Also spotted the Logan Wolverine. This is my first time seeing this one in store too. So the head sculpt actually looks pretty good. The scans on these are really nice. That one does look like Hugh Jackman a lot. I know a lot of people have been finding these in stores, but I haven't been doing a lot of toy hunting this past like week and a half. So really cool to see this one too. And then I also spotted the new Goldar, which, let me see if I can get this out here. This one is uh, different from the GameStop exclusive, I think because if I remember correctly, he doesn't have the wings and I think the sword effect on there is different too, but overall it's the same, same figure. And then there's no new multiverse figures. A lot of it's the same stuff. Jokers, Batmans, Wonder Womans. Oh wow, uh, I just found more of them down here. Okay, so there's one more of this set and I guess that's the tag for it. So it's a $50 set for two figures. All right, so I spotted something in the Hot Wheels section that I'm gonna pick up, and that is the 89. This is like a, like a silver color Batwing, so I'm gonna pick this up. And then they had some of the reaction Back to the Future figures, which tells me the NECA ones were here. So these are pretty cool to see in store. There's a back right there. Cool. This is new. This is a new back cave that they have here. This is pretty cool, so you can see what it looks like there. He's got a little armory there. There's a figure that comes with it. Oh, it's got a like an alley place it too. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get the back of this so we can do a quick look at this back cave. You know what's missing in a lot of these back caves is light up features. I think that's something that would be really cool. Actually, maybe the bat signal does light up. I got a sewer there too. So it's like different ways you can play with the playset. And they have this one here by Imaginex and it says here, the biggest bat cave yet. Looks like it comes with several figures here. An unmasked Bruce Wayne, that's pretty That's pretty cool. So this one, the Mission Batman's $44.99 for this set. This one is $200, no. It doesn't say the, oh, it's $150. This one's $150, but look at everything on this cave. Imaginex does some really, really cool stuff. So they got a place where you can display the different, the different outfits there. So that's at Target and that one. All right, so he was able to find this. Well, one of the workers was able to find this for me in the back. So I got the Tales of Space Back to the Future figure in the plutonium outfit. This is really cool. So definitely going to be leaving with this bad boy today. That's an awesome pickup. Plus the Batwing that I picked up. Here's a look at the packaging on this, the figure itself. Stay tuned for the review. If you want to see the review, thumbs up the video. We'll see you soon. Later. Let's see if you bastards can do 90.